There are so many ways to get dreadlocks, but which one is the right one for you? In this video, watch me break down every step or every way of getting dreadlocks in this video. Welcome back to another video! Let's go! Of Activerse Universe today is a new Thank you for joining me today. And you know what time it is. 10 different ways of getting dreadlocks. Like what? 10 different ways? I didn't even know there were two. I didn't even know there was one. I don't even know how to get dreadlocks. That's probably you. So stay tuned right now. I'll show you how to get them all. Before we get into the video though, you know what to do. You know what we do. If you don't know what we do, now you do. Here is intro. I recently did a video on this, it's like a one minute video, but I need to go in depth to it so that you guys can understand really what I'm talking about because there's 10 different ways and I don't even know how to do one. That's your question. So let's get into it. So I categorized the whole 10 things into four different categories. The first one is rubbing method. Rubbing method consists of sponge rub and towel rub. I don't know if you guys ever seen sponge rub or towel rub method before, but usually those are used for like curl, for like, for like getting curls, like for your hair, especially if you have like a 4A, 4B, 4C, maybe in a threes hair types, you end up using these type of methods to get, you know, your hair curled up and they use it even at the barbershop. But you guys can actually utilize this method to getting your dreadlocks. Basically what happens is as you are doing this, uh, part of your hair, section of your hair start to curl up and to start coiling up inside the dreadlock or inside the, inside the sponge rub, they have like little holes that come with it and they start basically coiling up inside of it by giving you like those little sections of perfect section, sections that you need to start your dreadlocks. With the towel rub the same way, but it may not be as effective that's probably the sponge but the towel actually there's a lot of people that do it and it actually works way better for them it just depends on your hair type if you guys have those things already at home you guys can utilize it you don't have to wait for other tools to start your dreadlocks you can literally start with those two after time after time those sections will start to develop and it will, you can actually turn them to a freeform locks a lot of people a lot of people do that with the freeform locks like a semi freeform locks they literally use those two things to build it up especially the towel method to really freeform their locks you should do this if you're starting out with short hair i highly recommend it if you want to do like a semi free form because it will give a character caution if you have if you're using a towel method please don't use no cheap towel because it will literally put stuff in your hair instead of giving you the locks or semi free form you're looking for have you ever seen those kids with a bunch of cotton like their pillow gave it to them or their towel rub method it's like why would you do that Moving on, second category to getting your dreadlocks is a hairstyle method. What is a hairstyle method? What the heck are you talking about? What is a hairstyle method? And I'm gonna tell you that right now. Hairstyle method is literally just getting different type of hairstyles and later on, and later on, turning them to dreadlock. And there's four ways of doing it, the hairstyle method. Finger coil method, literally you just finger twist it. Comb coil, which is usually done by locticians, but you can even do it at your house. And I'm guessing you already have a comb, you should. Somebody should in your house. So you can utilize that to literally just coil it up. The other one is two strand twist. And two strand twist is literally the easiest way to get dreadlocks because it's already gonna be sectioned out. All you have to do is after you two strand twist it, untwist it, and boom, you have literally small sections or big sections, however, big the two strand twist is to getting your dreadlocks some people end up locking this two strand itself which is not too bad you know which is not bad at all i would recommend it that you two strand twist it untwist it then lock it up because whenever you two strand twist it you get sections from one part another part and then you interwind them into two into one right so you have a stretching of sections down there you don't want to make it too far apart to where the dreadlocks is thick and also it's just pulling from one side to the other side that's why i recommend it to untwist it then lock it up unless it's like it was really skinny two strand twist you got and the last but not least on this uh category is braids braids is like you know travis scott braids or you probably even seen my braids when i did like a three-year transformation i showed you guys how i did i had a travis scott type of braid you can literally turn those because it's already intertwined with each other that's what dreadlock is but it's just not patterned that way but that's literally the end 
gold is to intertwine your hair. These are styles you can choose to rock even fresh right now till you really want to transition to dreadlocks. But after time, of course, uh, they will start to dry out, to dry out, or they start to need some moisture, or even create a buildup if you're not, if you haven't taken them out in a while. And that's why you should turn them to dreadlocks and start like ACV rinsing or other methods to cleanse your hair. I recommend this if you really don't have the tools for it uh, to start your dreadlocks. And some few things to be cautioned about is it may take a while than a standard method of you know insta locks or other way of getting it. And the finger coil and the comb coil can give you can end up literally giving you the skinniest dreadlocks that you can possibly have. And if that's what you're going for, go for that. While two strand twists and braids can give you a pretty thick dreadlock. Of course, if you don't undo the two strand twist or the braids came all the way to the third category is instant method this is my favorite is favored by a lot of people now because it's instantly boom you got it and there's three ways of doing instant method the first one is crochet hooking it second one is back combing and the third one is gel which I don't recommend a lot of people when they start gel locks they use a lot of gel or even when they use a finger coil method or anything like that they usually put so much gel in their hair that their hair dries out and when it dries out it gets so flaky and it depends on of course what kind of gel you use but most gels when they dry like if, if a gel that dries out and it doesn't flake what the heck is it is it is it even a gel but there's a lot of them that can cause a buildup and there's some of them that can cause less buildup so make sure you use the right gel if you choose that method please and i do not recommend that some people utilize gel with the crochet needle or with retwisting or with other type of way of getting dreadlocks and thus they can use small amount and it will not affect them as much as using a whole bunch of them back combing is literally the weirdest way of getting dreadlocks but i think that's this is like a really popular especially if you have straight hair and it's where you put your hair like literally flat down like you know you put your hair like this like you have like that and then with all your hair you know coming forward this way you literally back comb it back comb it and then you rip it back comb it back comb it you rip it and i hope this video right here helps you understand what back combing is and you literally there's literally a video just on that i highly recommended these three methods that i mentioned if you had a growth more than six months to a year uh, if you just starting off use like i said sponge rub or i recommend those uh easy ways of starting your dreadlocks without having to put a lot of tension to your hair but if you have like a really long hair already uh, you you can insta dreadlocks your hair and get dreadlocks like that this is best if you're wanting your dreadlock like right now today like i said like like today i want my dreadlocks today type of deal which mine took a, a, about like four to six hours to get done in one day and like i mentioned earlier crochet needle and back combing is really good for straight hair so if you have a straight hair this is your chance to shine brother sister caution uh, you don't want to do these methods if you have a really short hair uh because like i said it's, it's too much tension for your for your hair it's like it's an early stage you don't want to keep crochet needling your little tiny growth wait till like six months because i recommend you to have longer hair don't overdo this because it can give you a hair damage and don't overdo this because it can create a hair damage and for the gel part it can give you a lot of buildup so pay attention for that last one but not least natural method this is the last category guys are you guys excited for this sorry guys i thought i recorded this part but i guess i did it and the camera stopped and so i'm gonna continue with this natural method is only one way and that is free form away yahweh this process of locking your hair is the easiest it's the most simplest thing you can ever imagine so it's letting your hair just like the name free form freely form in it you don't have to do anything to it you don't have to touch it maybe you wash it here and there but it lets it you let it just grow and get to a place that you want it to look like like for example i believe uh somebody that freeformed is like weekend he freeformed really 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 well and there's other moors that i i don't even know by name but there's so many people that freeformed and that really came out pretty neat i think jay-z did the same thing but i don't know if his was fully free form this I look a little bit semi but it may not be but when i tried to free form my hair everything was literally just literally clamped up like this and growing out almost like the weekend and it was crazy how it looked because i was like i was giving up on my dreadlocks i was like take this dreadlocks away like, i'm done with this dreadlocks because i didn't know how to maintain it i didn't know how to do a lot of stuff like i got i split it and everything but it wasn't the best maintenance and i did some of my free form for like eight to ten months i believe i think it's considered like a lazy way like you know people that are like really that don't do that much with their hair but i think 
the few really take not take care of it but like in a way took a care for it i think it will have its own character especially when, once it's like really 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 long caution the only thing that you need to worry about would be probably that time that it would take the span of time like you can lock your hair in six months or ten months or you know one year but to have a free form lock you can do that but it won't it wouldn't look as good till like it hits like probably a year and a half mark because that's when you start seeing the character of it i think till then it just clamped up messy don't know what the heck is going on with you look homeless type of deal but one of the, my favorite things to watch or see is people that have freeform hair dreadlocks and they get like a lineup or like a little taper on the side and the back it looks pretty crispy pretty darn dope and i might do that in the future i don't know mm, that'd be tough yeah that would be the toughest thing i'll ever do if i do that because i remember back in high school i had literally a freeform well, I didn't have the dreadlocks, but I just had a freeform. I just let it afro freeform. It was so bad because I had a big head, like a giant head almost. So when I put hoodie on, like it looked like an alien. And uh, and I remember like going on the graduation day and I put trying to put the cap on my head and it wouldn't stay. And literally the thing was hanging like this because I put it on my, uh, you know, my afro. But you don't want to put it all the way down on your afro because then you it's just gonna pull this back and I look like I'm bald headed. So I'll put it in the middle, like where the crown is at, and I literally put it right there, and uh, it just tilted back when I was walking, so it was just like, wink, 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 it was just balancing. <laughs> and everybody was like, I look at me just laughing and stuff like that. I didn't know what they were laughing at until later on, somebody told me, but funny story. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which uh, which one is your favorite. Let me know how you got your dreadlocks. And also, don't, uh, don't forget, guys, if this video is not out by 20K, I probably, uh, I'm doing basically a top 10 dreadlock video reviews to where you guys send me your dreadlocks on my instagram at activeverse and i will literally react to your dreadlocks and pick out the top 10 ones my favorite ones and put it on the video by itself and also for those of you guys that have a youtube channel make sure to send me if you guys do my intro so that i can put you in the beginning of my video starting at 20k thank you guys for watching this video but till next i keep acting the verse and creating your universe i'm activeverse and i'm out stay tuned tired you did